friends! Welcome back to Long Time No See. If you're new here, my name is Taylor. I'm a third grade teacher in Central California. And today, we're here for the, the annual classroom makeover. So my room has been about the same for the last two or three years, two years. And now I'm ready to switch it up. So I have brown wood on my walls. I didn't realize how much of it I actually had done because I went to GW, which is like a teacher school supply place, to just get some for that wall. I knew I needed this wall and I knew I needed that one, maybe those three blue ones. And then right next to the same wood color I got for these walls was a beautiful white wood color. So naturally, of course, uh, I got the white wood. So today we're making a huge change. We're going from normal wood color to white wood, but I'm getting an all new decor set to put everything, like all the like things that go on this, you know? So we'll print those out tomorrow, but today we're just putting all, we're taking all this down. I'm not touching that blue though, because I refuse. Way too difficult, you have to go around those whiteboards, around that, no. Hard pass. So we're just taking down all this stuff, putting the white wood up, and then I'll show you what I'm printing for decor this year. Okay, it's done, but I don't know if I like it. I think I'm used to like the smaller panels, so the fact that these are wider is really throwing me off. But I already tore down such a huge section that I kind of need to just commit. That was the wall I originally needed to do. Just this one, all the others were done. Just this one. And now, <laughs> I need to do those, I need to do those. Hi, hi, I'm in over my head. Why do I do this to myself, why? So that's the thing, I need this wall up because I need to, once I do this, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, I love it, this is great. But I need to like get to that point where it's done. So I'll probably do like another trip to GW. If you follow me on Instagram, you pro I've probably already asked you guys what you guys thought. So just wish me luck. Oh, and then I need it. Then I need to set up my computers because nothing's plugged in. <laughs> then I need to print everything <laughs> from teachers by teachers. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, I'm here early. I don't even officially need to be back till the 12th. It's the 9th. It's my dad's birthday. Okay, I'm, I need to stop rambling and like get things done. So, okay, computer is all set up. And now I have one printer connected. I need to connect the other one, but I'm not focusing on that right now because I just needed my color one working. Um, so there we go. Oh, while I was setting up my computer, I turned it on and <laughs> Guys, I was so ready to peace out that last day of school because as soon as I turned on my computer, I still have a Bitmoji class thing that me and my kids made just up on the screen. Like, it's not a desktop screensaver, it's just a website and other websites from the last day of school. I did not even take the time to close out tabs. Just shut down, peace out, your girl's out of here. <laughs> so, ah, that was pretty funny to see. So I got a whole review of what we did the last day of school. Okay, so now I'm on to the printing of things. I just bought a lot of stuff off Teachers Pay Teachers. I used a lot of pretty mixed functional stuff. Let me flip around and show you. All right, so this is what I got. I got a schedule card thing, which I tend to use like the first couple months of school and then I stop using it. Uh, place value because I always need help with that. Well, my kids do. And then more math posters and then more math things. I just love math. Got a grammar thing because we have to have a grammar wall. And then calendar, clock thing, more math stuff, stuff to make my rules. This is just what I got to start out. So she does have a bundle, $96 worth of stuff. So many cute things, but your girl doesn't need that many things. I'm very simple. So I got the things that I need so far and I'm gonna print them. I pray to God that my printer has ink and works. And that way we can do something with that wall so I can feel better about myself today. Okay. I made it through one print cycle. One. Let's go. What do you have to say for yourself? Come on. I see you. I see you, little guy. Where are you going? 
Come on. Oh, just... It pulled it from me. Let's go. It doesn't want to work, but it doesn't want to give me back paper. You're doing nothing with it. Fighting to the death. It's freaking center. Go. What is, what is this? Is that... I'm done. Okay. So that printer is decided that it doesn't want to print anything to do with black anymore. And my office doesn't have a new black ink cartridge. So I think I'm going to go buy one while I wait for the office one to come in because it's super nice that they actually like get ink for us. And I know at the end of the year they gave me full ink for everything, but it's been sitting there. It's an old printer, so it decided, eh, no. Anyway, I have these, but I do want to laminate them. My laminator's at home, and I need to get a black ink cartridge, and then, who knows, maybe I'll mess with my printer at home and see if that will end up working so I can print stuff. I can't print anything else. I can buy more things, so I'll probably buy more things and then put up more of, like, wood walls. I'm gonna actually redo the wood on this wall. I'm not removing the blue because that was too big of a pain in the butt, but I'm gonna take off this gray so it can stop looking like... It actually reminds me of Matilda. Remember when in the movie Matilda when Miss Trunchbull would come and they'd have to pull in all the things from like to color the artwork and stuff? That's what that reminds me of. So I'm done having a Miss Trunchbull classroom. I'm gonna take that down, change this wood to the white one, take the cactus. Oh, I don't know what cactus is. Take that down. And then my friend Mary, she gave me her leftover white border so it matches that. So I'll probably align that along the bottom so that way it kind of top bottom matches. All right, let's go. Okay, so we finally got the top. I finally adjusted my clock. And if you're wondering, yes, it does drive me crazy that this line is consistent and then it switches. Yeah, it drives me nuts, but uh, that's all I'm gonna do about it. And I will end up adding some over there, just uh, not right now. Gosh, why is that wrinkly? That looks wonderful. <sighs> okay, so rent a room and that side. It's done. I gotta go home. It's my dad's birthday. We're doing cake and ice cream. So this is the completion of day one classroom makeover. Stay tuned for day two. What's up guys? Day two of classroom setup. We got to put up some more walls. I got to print and laminate some more things. I actually got ink for my printer. The printer at home, I got to work for again, like one solid round of things. So today we are just putting walls up, printing, laminating, cutting, all that fun stuff. Let's get started. Alrighty, so this half of the room is done and perfect timing because I just ran out of paper. So it looks like trip number three to GW to get some more white wood. Now, what I did learn doing this wall versus this wall, this one, um, to me it looks better. This one you saw, I put the roll at the bottom and I pulled it up to staple it. 
This one, I tried my friend Mary's technique where you start at the top, drop it so the weight of the roll kind of pulls it out and straightens it. I like that a lot better. I wish I could go back and fix this because it's gonna drive me crazy, but I'm hoping I can straighten it while I staple things on there so it won't look so like bubbly and weird, you know? Okay, now over here is where I got my print in, but it's not printing. It's not printing. Wow, my printing, my workstation, and then my laminating station. So we got like all systems to go. Um, I printed a lot of stuff here. Let me show you what I got. I went to GW and got borders. I got these four. I'm thinking, okay, where are we? Okay, I'm thinking these two might go well together. I know the blues aren't exact, but like, bear with me. And then these two might go together. And here's my thing. This was the only one I could find. And ideally, I feel like these three like layered together would look really cute, but I don't know because I need something that layers with this, but I don't know what. So I was kind of thinking like that, I don't, I don't really know what I'm thinking. Ooh, like that. I need to see what other colors I have just here. And then my writing wall, that's gonna go like over there. Um, I've got like these colors. So I got, these are kind of the colors that I'm messing with for my writing wall. So basically I'll like pattern them out so that each kid has like the little writing kind of thing. So same color scheme and it works because my room was like built in like 70s, whatever. So we got them. We're just committing to the thing. The orange chair, yes, definitely. No more paper. I could have, I should have done that wall that way. The one wall could have been complete. Let's see what borders kind of work for this and see if I can get my writing station kind of up. So what I'm thinking for my walls here, we got, let me flip it around. Okay, so I'm thinking, Focus wall, focus wall, no, 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 wait, yes. So I'm thinking focus wall, like reading, math, that's like what we're doing this week. And then this section will be my actual math in depth, like everything we're learning, concepts, you know, um, keywords, stuff like that, because we love math in here. Then this will be our grammar wall because we have to have one. And then this will be our writing section with the papers I just showed you. And then here will be our focus wall, no. And then here will be our goals and multiplication Sundays, but when we get there. So for now, it's gonna be kind of like all goals area. We don't get to multiplication till like Christmas time. And then this wall, I have no idea. I might make this birthdays and that. That's already birthdays, that's already, no, I gotta tear it down anyway. And then up front here, I gotta finish just this section. This will be kind of like rules, um, I, I gotta cover this up because this drives me insane that this doesn't line up. Okay, I have been cutting out some things and now I'm going to go see if I can use my district's laminator because I know they have one. It's not as heavy duty as my other one, but it'll do. Okay, fingers crossed. Let's go. Just kidding, it's broke. So we're not gonna be able to do that. So now, all right. So I'm going to tack up my reading and math so that way I know like where I can picture it and then we're gonna go into the math wall. I'm gonna put up the math wall stuff and that way I can figure out what borders. This is all because I don't know what borders to put, just so you know. And then I don't know what borders to put here. Why? I'm like color challenge, I swear. Okay, so here's gonna be my math section. I need to add borders. And then the keywords I'll add as we learn multiplication division, but those are just so much later. I want us to focus on that. And then these ones, starting off with the basics, those are uneven, it's gonna drive me crazy. Um, but then basically as I need to add more, I'll take off the zeros and ones, shift everything up and then add all the way to 12. And then this, I'll make my reading section here. I'll also add more like vocabulary words and concepts and like our anchor charts and stuff like that. So math will take up those two. And that way here we'll be reading and that way we have like what we're doing for the week, spelling words, vocabulary. It's just gonna take up more space. And that way it connects with grammar and then writing and then goals. It just has a little bit more flow rather than reading and then math and then back to grammar. Okay, but I like it. 
I don't know if I like that color behind the math. I might change that. But this is cute. What borders? Okay, I stepped away. I got some coffee, got some chocolate because I was getting ready to tear everything down and just start all over because I was tired of the color scheme. Not going with any borders. This one, I don't hate. So I got like a mixture of like the little polka dots. I took my gold polka dot board, uh, whatever. I don't hate it. So I'm going to put that around here. And so, uh, why? This should not be as stressful. This doesn't even matter that much. Teach props. Okay, let's put that up. Okay, this is gonna wrap up day two. I got my borders figured out, thank goodness. I finished off my calendar, I just need to laminate them. I have my list of things I need to get at the little school store and on Amazon. So, this is gonna wrap up day two. See you day three.